Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about adding a rule or a port to our Windows 10 firewall. There will be times when you may need to add an exception for a port or a rule to your Windows firewall settings. To begin this procedure, just go to your search bar, type in the word firewall, and open up your Windows Defender firewall from the control panel. Once you're inside of here, you have one of two different ways to open a port or to allow or deny a service to your Windows Firewall. The first option is to go up and allow an app or feature through the Windows Defender Firewall. You can click on this. And if the application is listed in this default listing of different applications or services, you can go ahead and check the box as it applies. If it's not present, then you're going to have to go about it a different way. And to do this, we go into the advanced settings. So if this is a piece of software, then you might have to do some homework, do some research, and find out what port that that piece of software needs to have open to be able to run. So to do this, we're just going to go to the inbound rules, and we're going to create a new rule by right-clicking and selecting new rule. And that's going to open up the inbound rule wizard. Now you have a number of options here. If you know the program, you can go ahead and select this option. And you can find the program as it is installed on your machine. Find the executable. And you can allow that through the firewall this way. Another option that you have is to know the port. You can select the port. And here you can define whether it's TCP or UDP or all local ports, or specify the port. You also have a number of pre-fined applications that you can use. Now these are well-known ports, and you can go through here and look to see if any of these applications apply to what it is you're trying to do here. And you can also create a custom rule. Click Next, and this is pretty much the same thing as defining the program. In this example, we're going to allow a port to come through our firewall. So let's select the port option. Let's click Next. Now I want to specify a particular port. Let's say that we're going to do a web server. So let's select port 80. Let's go ahead and click Next. And so we want to allow the connection. Let's click Next. Let's go ahead and allow the connection from all different types of networks. Let's click Next. You now have to give the rule a name, so let's just call this Inbound Web. And let's click Finish. Now over here in the center window pane, you will see that our Inbound Web rule that we just created is present. We can go ahead and we can modify this if we need to just by double clicking it. Here you have the ability to modify the rule properties, such as the remote computers, Allow only connections from these computers. You can make exceptions to the rule. Remote users, you can do the same thing. Allow only connections from these users. And you can also allow exceptions for some users. Later on, if you decide that you want to go with secure traffic, you can go ahead and you can add in port 443 for HTTPS. Under the scope option, we can allow certain IP addresses and we can block others. And under advanced, you have the option to go in and change what network types are allowed. When we talk about edge traversal, we're talking about outside traffic having access to the web server. So this is something you probably want to go ahead and allow to happen. So you can go ahead and enable allow edge traversal. And when you're all done, you can just click apply. Say OK, and you're now ready to have this server or this machine host a website. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about adding a rule or allowing a port through our Windows firewall. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about any of the information that was given to you in this short video presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.